Let's talk a little bit about how much your 12U player should be practicing their hitting if they want to get the most out of their 12U baseball or softball experience and they really want to dominate at that youth baseball level. Just so we're clear, I'm not talking about team practices here. I actually don't believe that a hitter can really get better than their peers by just going to team practice because any amount that they might improve is the same amount their peers are also going to be improving. You have to practice after practice if you want to get better. That's, that's always what I say. That's what I've preached to my kids the whole time. So that being said, what I have noticed is this. For a 12U hitter with average to above average athletic ability, a hitter that hits once a week outside of practice will see zero to 5% improvement in their abilities over the course of a season. A hitter that hits two times a week will see a 50% improvement in their abilities. It's way more. And a hitter who hits three times a week will improve so much that they will start to do as well as the good hitters that are one year older than your son or daughter is right now. It's actually remarkable how often I see this play out. It's time and time again. If you want to be good, you got to hit three days a week. Now, this is, this is for the average to above average athlete, right? If you have a below average athlete, you need to add an extra day. And here's why. Kids with below average coordination skills who just show up at team practice will actually get worse when compared to their teammates over the year because the, his teammates learn new skills or her teammates learn new skills faster than they do. So if you want the same results as the kids with average to above average athletic ability and you're not one of them, you need to hit one more day than those other kids if you want to just tread water. And while that might not seem fair, here's what happens. The, the less athletic kids who learn how to work two, three, four times harder than their peers end up actually passing those athletic kids in high school once their coordination catches up to them. It's a beautiful thing. And as a coach and a parent, there isn't anything more meaning, meaningful to me on this planet than watching a kid learn how to work hard, how to work that extra bit, even though it wasn't fair, and see him pass all those kids that were kicking his butt a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, who didn't think anything of them, and now he's put in the work or she's put in the work, and they surpass them in high school, and they leave those other kids wondering at that first high school tryout, what the heck happened? How did little Timmy learn how to, how to be better than I did? I thought that my food didn't stink. Well, turns out that hard work matters. And if you believe in that kind of stuff too, then follow me, like like this, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, and, and get a hold of me if you live in the Thurston County area because we help hitters practice. So if you've been wondering how much your son or daughter actually needs to be practicing, there's a little tip for you that I, I hope will really help you and I hope you'll your, your, your son or daughter will grasp onto that because it'll take them way further than they were gonna go if they didn't understand that message.